fun fact nobody asked for. Last week's video almost didn't happen. I had a bunch of issues when I was writing the script and filming was a complete nightmare. But I have the same problems almost weekly so I knew that despite all the trouble the video would still get done on time. So I went to bed Friday night a little upset because I had attempted to film last week's video for the fourth time and it had completely fallen through. I wasn't giving up yet. I still had Saturday, I had Sunday, I had Monday and I am the queen of getting things done at the last minute. So I knew that this video was going to happen no matter what. Then I woke up on Saturday morning morning, afternoon, and that's when I decided the universe definitely has it out for me. For the first time in two and a half years, I was sick. And not just, woe is me, I have a cold, everything's awful sick, I mean really properly sick. I don't know if I was more upset over the fact that I was probably going to have to cancel Monday's video, or the fact that I'd broken my two and a half year streak of avoiding every cold, every virus, every strain of flu that made its way through my friendship groups and classmates since 2014! Ugh! Obviously, I didn't cancel Monday's video because I'm one of those really annoying people that refuses to admit that they're sick when they have things to do. At this point, some of you are probably thinking, Jess, no one cares. Why do you care so much? Your audience is tiny. No one watches your videos anyway. Why the big deal? I just, let me have this. It's all I've got, okay? Anyway, I'm one of those really annoying people that refuses to admit they're sick when they have things to do. Like seriously, I could be on my deathbed and still insisting that I'm completely fine because there's still too much to do and I can't not do it. That's an illness in itself, isn't it? adult disease. Anyway, if you can't tell by my ridiculous voice right now, I'm kind of still a little bit sick. Not as bad as I was a week ago, but still not 100%. I've had this mystery illness now for a week, and something I've discovered about being sick as an adult is that it's 10 times worse than being sick as a kid. See, when you're a kid and you get sick, the world kind of stops for you. You don't really have any responsibilities except for going to school. And you can justify sleeping on the couch all day because your only job is to get better. You've got your parents around to make sure you stay hydrated and make sure you don't accidentally starve to death when you forget to feed yourself for three days because you have no energy. Totally didn't happen to me. I'm fine. I'm responsible. I can function. And if there's anything you absolutely need to get done, it can wait until you're better. When you're an adult and you live alone, it's a whole different story. Now in all fairness, I don't have a lot going on right now, what with me being unemployed and currently not in university. I need a job. I'm so bored. But I do still have some responsibilities and I can't just put them off because I'm feeling a little under the weather. I did take a couple of days off this week because I had no energy whatsoever. But the whole time I was sitting around doing nothing, I couldn't focus on the fact that I was doing that so I could get better a little faster. I kept thinking about all the things that I had to do that I couldn't do. I should have been applying to more jobs because, you know, 81st time's the charm, right? I should have been reading and replying and sending emails. I should have been returning the three phone calls I ignored. <laughs> mm-hmm. Interesting. I should have been practicing for the gigs I have coming up in a couple of weeks. It was bad enough that I couldn't do the things I should have been doing, but I couldn't even do the things that I wanted to be doing, like eat proper meals that weren't made in two minutes in a mug, and walk around my house without needing to take a ten minute nap every five steps, and watch my favourite shows and actually be aware of what was going on. If anything, I'm actually kind of glad it's been a slow week because in addition to having no energy, no voice and cursed nasal passages, my memory has been terrible. I mean, it's pretty bad on a normal day. What am I doing in here? But with this whole sick brain fog hanging around, it's like... Did I film a video for Monday? I mean, can you imagine if I'd had a gig this week? <laughs> Or, God forbid, an important meeting or job interview. <coughs> nice to meet you. Part of your job here will require you to remember really important information that you'll then need to report back to the necessary staff members in a timely fashion. Is that something you can handle? Yes, I like candles. 
I want death. Last week when I was filming my introvert video and kept having to stop halfway through because there were planes flying over my roof and kids out the front screaming, I thought that that was going to be the biggest problem I ever had to deal with and attempting to film YouTube videos in a neighbourhood that's as obnoxiously loud as this one was the worst thing ever. Turns out I was wrong about that and actually the worst thing ever is running out of vapour drops in the middle of the night when your nose is so blocked that you might as well not have one at all. Maybe that's why I Lord Voldemort was so mean. The guy wasn't evil just for the sake of being evil. He just really missed being able to breathe through his nose. I totally get it. So that's all I got for you this week. I'd like to take this moment to give a shout out to the person who made this entire video possible, my friend Jackie. Thank you for giving me this horrible disease and I hate you a lot. If you guys enjoyed this video then make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more videos from me then make sure you click subscribe and hey while you're there ding that notification bell so you get notified as to when I upload a new video. Thank you guys for watching and I'm gonna go google how to best curse someone for getting you sick. I mean sleep. That is all. Goodbye.